Good morning, Plain LBM here. We got Marcelo, Leo, everyone. We are here in Norman. Oh, no, it was Norman. No, it wasn't Norman, right? No, it's the St. Vincent Asylum uh, Church. Here, we're going to talk a little bit about it on our walk through here. Also, we've been super fortunate to meet some paranormal investigators. Uh, they're right behind the camera. We'll show them in a minute. But uh, they told us that we pretty much have permission to check out the place. We're going to get some drone footage. Um, and we're gonna give them a shout out towards the end of the video. So watch it till the end of the video So for now, let's go check out the building. Go look at it. Uh, see what we find. Anyways guys This is again a church that used to be St. Vincent's home. So as you guys can see right there. There's a sign That shows the whole building, but obviously people come here and 10 years ago, you can look up pictures. I put one right here that it look it used to look a lot cleaner and all these bushes weren't here and there's no graffiti obviously since the owner doesn't care about protecting it too much anymore there's a lot of you see it's a lot more run down now there's a lot of graffiti since it's like wide open so you see it down the hallway just keep in mind if y'all ever come to this place this place is very run down um this is the second floor so we're going to be careful but the floor could be weak in some areas but yeah just keep that in mind if y'all ever come here So I want to I explain a little bit, um, there used to be a priest here who, uh, this used to be a church really, and then it turned, it turned into a uh, asylum, insane asylum where people were sick in the mind and they tried to treat them. Well the priest here would unfortunately molest all the kids basically that came to church and uh, that was a big scandal. We're going to put a description in the box uh, of the whole full story about that. There's like a room right here. I'm guessing this used to be some kind of shelf or restroom, so you can kind of see inside. Now that looks scary. <laughs> yeah, it's like a dark little like. Is that a staircase? Stair yeah, staircase is blocked. It's, I don't know if y'all can see it since it's so dark, but it's blocked off with like debris. Obviously, there's a lot of there's a lot of clothes in this one, so you guys can probably tell that people used to live here. And you just go. Mm -hmm. Also, oh, there's a there's a bath, there's a bathtub right here. So I'm guessing this used to be some shower or maybe some kind of living room. I'm thinking these are rooms where little you know kids and families probably stayed, probably uh, patients too for the asylum that used to be here after the church. Um, so you can imagine like a, a bed with a desk, uh, maybe like some medical equipment, maybe some. Uh, like a bathroom, bathtubs. I've been seeing bathtubs around, so. You guys can also tell that the owner used to board up these windows, but after so many people started breaking in, he just decided to not care so much, and he used to have security running around this place, but he couldn't afford it, and he decided to drop it. Get this place, guys. We can only anticipate what kind of rooms these are, so this must have been the entrance to the second floor. Because this looks like a bathroom, sort of. Again, there's like not too much to tell what this, like maybe what this room was. I know that probably was a common area. Any any like links or websites that have more information about the place, we'll put in the description below. So if y'all want to read, you know, read out as much as you want. Every once in a while, we see something like this. So again, this is like just a balcony, really. This guys, here's the bottom floor of this place. Here's the bottom floor. So. Look at this though, you can see where all these pipes were. 
But what's it, what is this over here? Is this a big pile it, of it, it seems like ever since this place was kind of like uh, the security was dropped, um, people will come here just to dump trash. Uh, we actually did come here yesterday, kind of to scope out the area before coming here today. And we did notice a couple of trucks um, behind the building and they looked like they had tires, like they were just dumping tires. You can see up where you were just right up here. You know, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that this right here was where the actual uh, mass of the church was happening. So people would come in, uh, the father would speak, and they would talk about all this stuff. the Bible, you know, just um, what about the day? Someone one day just decided to come down and just break down the walls and just. Yeah, I'm, I don't think this happened on its own, so people like to come here and vandalize. Man, let me see if I can read the year on this. Let's see. What year we got? I don't see any year, but... Sourced by the Square D Company. You guys can read this and maybe search up that, but we're not sure. I'm trying to find... Vampires. So this asylum was built in 1945. Another section was added in 1953. There are many semi-private rooms, complete with baths, nurse stations, and chapels, and a lounge on each floor. It was like many hospitals, and not just for the mentally ill. Uh, so, probably many, many deaths here. That's why a lot of paranormal people say that they feel things, and they hear things, and see things. Anyways guys, after checking out the bottom and the top floor, we're gonna go see if there's anything in the back of the place, so we'll be checking that out here in a little bit, but man, there's more tires. You can build a tire factory right here with all these tires. More graffiti, more tires. So this is it guys. Um, we didn't say too much of the history, but we're gonna put a link in the description of uh, so it can give you better background of what went on. So, uh, the shirts too, if you like our shirts. <laughs> We're here with Valkyrie uh, investigators. Um, they do paranormal investigations. They're going to describe a little bit of what they do. Hi, I'm Jerry. This is Andrea. Hi, nice to meet you. Um, she's my crazy right hand, left hand <laughs> interpreter sometimes. Yes. And what we do is we do actually a couple of things. Um, we, sorry, um, we do um, private investigations for uh, services of need. Um, anybody that's experiencing activity in a home or business, they need to need some help with that to find out what's going on. And we do travel to states outside of Oklahoma, so we will travel if there's a need for it. Um, we also do public investigations where you want to come in, like you see it on TV. It's really not all exciting like it is on TV. That's all crammed into like you know, yeah. two weeks of, into 30 minutes. Yeah, I would go into places. Uh, maybe not quite as abandoned as this and yeah. do investigations, yeah. let you run your own yeah. um, and we t teach you how to do that that kind of stuff. And then we do service, not services for me, we do, um, what's um, the word? Uh, the other word. Preservation? <laughs> Pres right. the historical preservation, yeah. we'll do investi yeah. uh, investigations for the public, let you come in and we uh, donate all the proceeds to the locations. Good. Yeah, so. Because there, we've had a lot of bad weather here in Oklahoma over the last year. Um, and a lot of these historical buildings don't have the money or the funds from the state because of all the other things that are happening yeah, right now. So we're helping them out by doing fundraisers to make sure that they can get their windows fixed or repainted or whatever they need to get that building back up into shape. We work with anything in the late 1800s to early 1900s. Right. That's is that's it's that's a lot of fun. Right. It can be fun. We you make also, a lot of friends and learn a lot of history. Yeah. And yeah. We I, learned a lot of, I learned a lot of history yesterday yes. at the location where we were we uh, did, yeah. uh, Good. Uh, checking out. So that's is a good place for you to go to. Anyways, thank you guys. Thank you. It was a kismet. It was kismet. We just happened to meet them just, right here. We're like, hey. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's do <laughs> this. You guys were my friends. I'm like, yeah. hey. I'm like, yeah. we knew you. Yeah, we, right? we saw their shirt. <laughs> we're like, shirt. oh, we are twins. Thank you guys. Oh, Great. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Okay, guys. Plain LBM here. Um, we uh, just filmed an amazing asylum here, uh, St. Vincent in Oklahoma City. Uh, you guys? Um, um, go ahead. No, 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 don't get me started. <laughs>